Hello everyone, welcome back to X and Allies. We'll continue to play the World War 2 mode and this time we'll choose Great Britain. And as my general I'll, I'll choose Wavell because he's got carpet bombing. The Prime Minister urges all Britons to remain steadfast in their determination. We are winning this war. Every day the Royal Air Force downs more German planes. Every hour our factories produce more material. And every battle in Africa we are driving the Germans farther back. The Americans have entered the war. And with Americans in Russia, we United Nations shall defeat the German and Japanese aggression. Okay, here we are. So last time we played the Americans, which are kind of isolated. The UK is different. The UK basically has stuff all over the world. We control South Africa, India, Australia, uh, Canada and parts of Europe. And we have to defend our home country against the Germans because the Germans are likely to first conquer Russia, get a ton of resources, build a ton of stuff and then just invade the UK. That's also the reason why after Americans you always have to defend the UK. So. For now we'll just build a little bit of infantry, again to cover some ground, and I'll send these guys here south, and we do have some guys in Africa, but I don't think these two here can defeat um, these German units, so I'll just send, send them to Palestine, because I want to take over Persia, which is worth 7 units of money, and Saudi Arabia, which was worth uh, 3 in fact. Yeah, actually let's send this guy here directly to Persia and then should I conquer East Africa? Actually, yeah, let's do it. And then I'll use this guy here to reinforce my troops in, in Asia. So yeah, this guy here will stay in Australia, I don't want to lose Australia. And I so don't have any troops in Canada, so let's end the turn. And the Japanese do not go for Central China. That's that's very that's amazing. That usually never happens. But they take the Philippines instead. Germany goes for Russia as usual, and they win as usual. So yeah, the Germans have abandoned Africa. So let's just take over. Yeah, actually let's conquer Madagascar. Let's take over the rest of Africa. Let's take over Saudi Arabia too. Let's send this guy to India. Yeah, I think we're good here so far. Let's build some more infantry. And let's send... Mm, I don't really think it's worth sending them to Scandinavia. I'll just get kicked out by the Germans again, so let's send, send them here. Now Japan goes for, cent for central China, and they win again. Germany is going for Russia, and they take over Moscow. Soviets strike back, but they lose. That's one thing with the AI. When the AI loses its capital, it does everything to get it back, even if it doesn't make any sense. So if you take over a capital and the AI has two units to take it back and you have ten, they will still attack you. Okay, so yeah, um, Europe is kind of exposed, so let's, um, yeah, let's, the Americans can have South America. Let's take this guy to Australia, this guy to India, and should I secure Persia? Yes, I should. And this guy to Egypt, this guy to Libya, this guy also to Libya, and these guys to French. North Africa and buy, buy even more infantry. Do you know what? Now that Scandinavia is exposed, let's take over Scandinavia. Okay. And we lose against Japanese. That was bound to happen. Germany takes over the Ural Mountains. The Ural Mountains are worth a lot. They're worth 10 units of money because they they basically represent all the factories that the Soviets deconstructed in the West and reconstructed in the East, so yeah. 
Um, the Soviets actually take back uh, Russia. So yeah, I'll, I think I'll take over Belarus and build new infantry and reinforce Scandinavia and send this guy south too. Okay, so I've jumped in the Caucasus. I don't like that. So should I send this guy here to India to secure it? Uh, I should probably do it because I don't want to lose um, this defensive army here. Because once I lose it, uh, there's no way to get it back. So let's send this guy here. And hmm, should I invade France? Actually, yeah, let's do it during the next turn. So. Japan has taken over Alaska as usual. The Mer Okay, what, what are the Americans doing? Where are all your units? You have like one guy here. The, J the Japanese are already in Samoa. Actually, yeah, let, let's, let's send these guys here because, like, the South Pacific is kind of exposed. Okay, so. Germany is stuck in the Ural Mountains with tanks, of course. So let's end the turn. So Japan did not attack India, that's good. Germany goes for Soviets again and they win. And the Japanese are in the Caribbean. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, the Americans were saving up to build a tank with an airborne brigade or an airfield, which is kind of good, but I think they should have built more infantry instead, so. Yeah. Mm, yeah, let's let's reinforce Belarus. Um let's buy a mechanized division for once. Let's mm, Yeah, let's send it to Scandinavia. Um yeah, let's actually go for France. And yeah, let's take over the Caucasus because it's actually kind of valuable. The Germans might kick me out, but I'll just risk it. Should I go for Southeast Asia? Mm -hmm. No, let's go for the Dutch East Indies again, because Japanese can't reach it during the next turn, so it's, it's just a little safer. And these guys can stay here. So, Well, nobody controls the Congo. Well, the Belgians are not a faction in this game, obviously. So yeah, let's, um, let's fight this out, and we win. It's actually pretty good because France is worth uh, 5 units. So let's just check the economy briefly. So yeah, we actually do have the highest income. Russia is doing pretty pretty badly, that was to be expected. Germany is pretty well off and the United States are slightly stronger than the Japanese. So at the moment the Allies are doing a little bit better than the Axis is. So, ooh. Germany's going for Eastern Europe and they take it. Russia. A single Russian tank is going. Wow, they actually won. Amazing. And they also took back the Euro Mountains. Wow. Russia just turned the tide of the war within one turn. Hmm. Yeah, should I reinforce Scandinavia? I mean, it's only worth two units, so it might not be worth a hassle. Let's, let's reinforce the Caucasus instead. Uh, and. What are the Germans doing in Western China? Yeah, whatever. Mm. Should I take the Philippines? Mm. No, because the Japanese will probably just take them back, so I will not risk it. Instead, let's reinforce France and yeah, let's secure Africa. Mm. One mechanized unit, um, one infantry. Yeah, actually, let's let's secure Scandinavia. I want to keep that. Japanese are going for Samoa. Actually, no, the Americans are. They lost. Russia switches hands again, and the German coast is exposed. So, hmm. I don't think I will win when I attack. Uh, Germany now, so hmm. I think I'll leave Belarus to the Russians. I'll take over the German coast and I'll try to clear out these guys here. So, cannot afford infantry with an airfield, so 
Let's just wait a turn. Should I take over so Europe? Yes, I should. And do nothing for now. Japan goes for Eastern Siberia. And they, they actually lose. Wow. Japan is doing really, really poor in this game. Okay, so let's build... Yeah, actually, let's build a um, tank with an airfield, so um, let's attack the German coast. I'm going to send anybody, I'm not going to... Everybody, I mean, I'm not going to risk it. And if we win this, all these units will be destroyed, because Germany has no way to retreat, so let's do it. Yeah, they're all gone. This is actually going pretty well. Oh, that's, that's an American unit. That's a flying tank. Hmm, should I... Could just liberate Russia, but yeah, Russia can do that instead. So, Dutch East Indies. Yeah, actually, let's 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 just stay here with this guy and let's end the turn. Okay, Japan is yeah, Japan's attacking me and they lose. Germany's going for Eastern Europe and they win and they take back France, but that's okay. And the Japanese have taken over Western Canada. Which is actually not all that good, but... Should I? Hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going to send these guys to Eastern Canada, because... Right now, the Germany can't really attack uh, the UK anyway. And I'm going to send all these guys here to... To France. Doing my own little D-Day here. This guy can stay here, and yeah, these guys here can stay here as well. Yeah, I think that's it. Should I buy more... Yeah, let's buy more mechanized divisions and one more infantry division. Should I send them to the Pacific? Actually, that's what the Americans should be doing, and what are they doing? They have nothing. They have like two units. Are they saving up for tank? Oh, I don't know. Let's just send these guys to Scandinavia, because why not? Okay. And we win again. So, Japan... Japan's actually going for Eastern Canada, and they win. So, Japan is now threatening the UK with a, like, cross-Atlantic invasion. That's pretty insane. Also not very historical. And, wow. Well, they've, they've almost taken over like, like half of America. So let's reinforce the UK, because I don't really want to lose it against this one Japanese guy here. I don't think he'll do it, but I just want to, don't want to risk it. And what's this tank doing here? Actually, yeah, let's, let's go for Germany. Let's risk it. And we win. So let's just check out the economy. Germany's still doing kind of well, but they can no longer like gain any income because they've lost uh, they've lost their capital. And Japan is doing kind of okay. We're still leading. Americans are doing kind of poor. So yeah, let's end this turn. Germany's going for. Moscow again, and they win. Man, I really wish the Americans would just kick out the Japanese here because it's, it's getting kind of annoying. So now let's build an infantry with airfields, and let's send um, these guys here to Eastern Canada. Yeah, now that Western Canada was lost and then reconquered by the Americans, it's American because it's not a British core province. If it was a core territory, then um, it would become uh, it would become British again, even if the Americans conquered it. Just like, say, Moscow, the UK always will become British after they have been liberated. Nobody, no matter who actually liberates them, and Germany is taking over Persia. I don't like that. So, hmm. should I clean out these guys here, or should I go for Russia? Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll, I want to kill these guys, yeah. They're kind of annoying. Okay. Am I? Oh yeah, I'm already taking these, can I? Yeah. Okay, let's just secure France with like, these guys here. That should, that should do it. And let's secure uh, Southern Europe as well. Actually, Germany will probably just go for the Germany doing the next round, so let's just do it like this. So. And we lose, obviously. Okay, Japan is secure in Japan. Americans go for Eastern Canada and they win. Now theirs, which is okay. Is Germany going to do anything? Apparently not. So, Japanese are still in Mexico. So, hmm. let's. Actually, liberate Eastern Europe. And I will buy more stuff. Because I need to cover some. Some of these guys, Scandinavia. And yeah, that should be sufficient. We win. That's good. Man, there are a lot of Japanese guys in the Caribbean. So, I don't really like this. Should I go for Persia? Mm -hmm. Nope, but I'll, I'll go for Southeast Asia. And yeah, these guys can, these guys can stay here. Hmm. I will take over the French coast. And hmm. I'll move these guys here to the Laros. So next turn I can destroy these two units with just one battle. So if you win again, Germany's not doing well. Germany's going for Germany, they lose. Okay, if the Japanese continue to build up here, they might actually take over the Eastern United States. That would be absolutely terrible. I hope that doesn't happen. Okay, uh, I need to get rid of this tank here. It's, it's annoying. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's way too close. Yeah, I'll just send everybody. Or almost everybody. These guys can go to Eastern Europe. And actually, yeah, these guys can just liberate Russia. So, let's do it. We win, thankfully. Wow, I really don't like this. There's way too many Japanese here. And the Americans, well, they are making some progress. Well, at least those Japanese units are now uh, caught off, up, so they can't be reinforced, but I really don't like this. I'll buy more infantry because I don't want them to invade the UK either, or Gibraltar. Yeah, actually I should send all those guys to Gibraltar. So, yep, yeah, let's go for the Euro Mountains. And the Caucasus, because it's kind of valuable. And these guys can actually stay there to secure it. And these guys can move east. Which involves a lot of clicking, because you can't just select multiple units at once. <laughs> now the Congo is American. So yeah, let's just actually... Yeah, let's take over Central China and Western China, maybe. Mm. Or Persia. Yeah, I'll probably get Persia anyway, so let's just take over Western China. Let's fight off this battle. And wow, they actually, they actually conquered Washington. 
can't believe it. Man, the Americans are doing so poorly. Let's check out the monk. Well, we're still leading with regard to economy. Followed by... By Japan. Yeah, so that's okay. So, hmm. Hmm, which I, I really can't with them taking over the UK, so I have to build more infantry for defense. So this this is crazy. So mm -hmm. let's just take our Persia. Let's send these guys here to Palestine. I can't attack Kazakhstan too because you can fight only one battle per round. But I can send this guy here to Siberia and this guy to... Yeah, let's just let's do it like this. More guys to Russia. And let's actually send all these guys here south so we can kick the, the Japanese out of America. So, and we are done here. And we actually lost. Hmm. That was unexpected. So, Japan is... The Russians, are, or the Soviets, are desperately trying to take over what's left of Soviet Union, but they're always lacking one turn behind, so that's why I'm getting all that stuff. Now let's go to Manchuria. Let's send um, this guy... Actually, let's... This guy should stay here because I don't want to lose Jura Mountains. And I need to clear out these Germans here. Yeah, need to send. This guy can go to Saudi Arabia. These guys can go to French North Africa, which is now British North Africa. And I think I want to upgrade. I think I want to upgrade one unit here. Afi costs 80, Mechanized costs 50. Mm. Yeah, I'll turn this guy into a Mechanized Division and this guy into a Tank Division. And, oh yeah, now we have to move out of Persia because the Germans have been treated there, and we're not allowed to fight two battles per round, so now we have to leave Persia. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks, but that's how the game works. Mm. And yeah, I think that's it. Americans are building up in Gibraltar, which is also what we will do. Luckily, the UK is close to the Eastern United States, so we don't have to send like a lot of units or a half halfway around the globe. Hmm. Should I attack this guy? Actually, yes, I think I should. And let's send uh, these guys here to Persia. This guy to India, and these guys can stay here. Yeah. more armor divisions and, and more mechanized divisions for our ridiculous build up. Yeah, all these guys here are hanging out in Gibraltar, which is about one square kilometer large. So. Yeah, we win. Excellent. Yeah, Russia is just moving its one infantry guy back and forth. Wow, the Americans actually did that. And me? Well, probably because they had armored divisions and airfields and everything. And the Japanese didn't. Alright, so... Yeah, let's... Let's start changing this tank here. And move everybody to Palestine. And oh, this is actually my unit, so... Let's just move it here. And... Move this guy here. Mm -hmm. I could go for the Philippines, which yeah, which is actually what I'm going to do. So 
more flying tanks. We lose, that's okay. The Soviets are just randomly moving this one infantry guy around. I wonder why they're not building anything. I think they should have enough money to do so. Or. Yeah, actually, they do. And they have really cheap infantry, but yeah, whatever. So let's just purchase some upgrades because I have so many units. Um, they all profit from these upgrades, so I might as well do it. So, yeah, just some cheap ones. My entrenchment, why not? So, and <laughs> I really need to kill this one German tank. I wonder what this tank was originally in Libya. That would be kind of ironic. Mm. I might as well try to take over Eastern Canada because I can't. I'm not going to fight any other battles in this turn anyway. So, clicking, clicking, and more clicking. Yeah, this this kind this game mode is not designed for um, ridiculous amounts of units. Now behold. The epic reconquest of Canada, which succeeds and destroys about hmm, five Japanese infantry divisions. So that's actually pretty good. So, yeah, here we go. Ooh, the Japanese are retaking Manchuria. <laughs> More random Soviet infantry division movement. So, send all these guys to Western Canada. All these guys. All of them. Except for this guy here. Okay. Okay. This. Oh, I can't move here. This thing needs to. Do, wow, this thing is probably going to take over. <laughs> to retake Germany, which is kind of ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm going to secure it. And build. Yeah, let's build more upgrades. And yeah, that's it for now. Hmm, yes, nah. Yeah, this guy won't be able to take over India. I hope. Yeah, this guy goes for Germany. And actually loses, so yeah. All these guys here were chasing that one tank for almost nothing. But that's okay. It will all go west. And this guy goes back to Britain. This guy goes... Actually, this guy here stays in Moscow. Hmm. Yeah, I need to kill this guy here. Diesel engines, because why not? And SAS commandos. Let's go for this guy. And all these guys can move to... Yeah, to Hawaii and then to Japan, which is kind of exposed and might actually be conquered by the Americans before I do it. This game was crazy. Japanese taking over America. So it's got so much clicking. So let's end the turn. And we win, excellent. Wow, Britain controls like three quarters of the world. Hmm. You know what, let's just send all these guys here to Japan. That's really everything we need to do to win, so let's not waste any time trying to conquer absolutely every every territory on the globe before we take out Japan. And I'm going to buy even more upgrades like long range artillery or improved machine guns or mechanical reliability, whatever that actually means. Japan's not really doing anything. The Soviets are really determined to. Oh! And the Americans steal the victory. Well, at least it's halfway historical. 
Today in London, the greatest of achievements was presided over by the Prime Minister. The complete and total surrender of the enemy. Cheers of victory rang out down streets, pockmarked by German bombs. Men hungry from rationing, but unbroken in will, filled every alley in London. Children played freely in small lakeside parks and flooded post boxes with letters urging soldiers to finally return home to their wives. From the Orient to Europe, our great people have won a great victory. Once more, the sun shall not set on the British Empire. It shall not, because now we control about 90% of the globe. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. That was Excellent Allies, World War II mode. See you next time.